This is a Thor News presentation. Isons. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the news coming in hot and heavy, fast and furious. This just in breaking. Alien planet 11 times bigger than Jupiter spied. Meet the planet astronomers say shouldn't be there. By Sarah Gates at the Huffington Post. Well, that shouldn't be there. An international team of astronomers has discovered a faraway planet that orbits its star at a distance of 6 billion miles or about 650 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. The orbital distance far greater than any other planet seen previously suggests that current theories about how planets form may be off target. All right, if you've been watching my channel for the year I've been working on it, you will know I have been making fun of the dust disk accretion disk model, or however they say the solar system gets created for a long time. The idea that a giant cloud of dust gets so heavy that it collapses and forms stars and planets like Earth and Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. And in turn, by doing that, it creates beer, horses, boobies, cars, airplanes, human beings. That just don't make no sense, man. I mean, how can a giant cloud of dust turn into planet Earth? So a giant cloud of dust turns into planet Earth? And then a bunch of comets hit it, and the comets carry water? Yeah, whatever, man. Like, it sure is fun to be in a pseudo-astronomer these days. Because we sure get a whole lot right. Though people stick broomsticks up our butts when we get one wrong. And nobody ever even really brings it back up again when science has to change entire theories. Hi, I'm having fun. How about you? This system is especially fascinating because no model of either planet or star formation fully explains what we see. Vanessa Bailey, a fifth year graduate student in the University of Arizona's astronomy department and the team's leading researcher said in a written statement, now that's cool. We've now outsourced and crowdsourced to the grad students. Well, welcome to the future. Welcome to the party, pal. Astronomers theorize that orbiting planets like this one are composed of gas and debris. Nope, I'ma go with silicates, buddy. Magic silicates. That's what, that's what I'm going with. Haha, <laughs> this one has been dubbed 106906. But the amount of time this formation process requires, it's unlikely that a planet of this mass could form at such a far distance from its parent star. Or it's likely that you guys are totally wrong. Under another theory, in which giant planets form quickly from the collapse of a primordial disk, large planets come into existence. However, it's unlikely that a disk would contain enough mass to form a planet the size of HD 1069. 06. B. What's the B for, man? What's the B for, G? Further study of the estimated 13 million year old planet should provide some insight into how the planet formed and should help astronomers advance current theories. Can you advance something that's broken? I think you gotta fix it before you can advance it. And. How do they know this thing is, it's 650 billion miles away. How do they know it's 13 million years old? I mean, I'm sure they got some awesome quick, like, app on their phone that tells them how old the planet is, but it just seems kind of silly. Uh, I think the planet's age is relative? Systems like this one, where we have additional information about the environment in which the planet resides, have the potential to help us disentangle the various formation models. Vanessa in the red dress, Bailey said in the statement, Wow, Vanessa sounds hot. Vanessa, can I get you to tweet me before you become a professional scientist and then are not allowed to? That would, that would make me happy, Vanessa. Man, we sure get a lot of artist concept photographs. You ever notice that? Giant planet. Man, that Kepler spacecraft is discovering like trillions of new planets everywhere, all day, every day. Okay, so that planet, its number is 10, which is binary. So binary 6906? I don't even know what binary 69 mean. I don't know if that sounds good or bad. Oh my God. So over here at the Huffington Post, at the bottom of the article, Vanessa, you'll be proud that when people get to the bottom of the article, it says, robot hand jobs are the future and the future is coming. <laughs> And I will say it, if you are under 18, turn the video off right now. If you're some Puritan, you're going to have to turn it off too. But I will guarantee you, 
that robots are just like women and that there's no way they can give me a better hand job than I can. And the last thing I want is a girl to give me a hand job. If you know what I'm saying. Did I go too deep into the whatever? It is Huffington Post's fault. Man, HuffPo's a strange breed. I love know-it-all scientists who don't. Comment. Six string sound. Is it just me or does it seem like the astronomy stories are coming rat-a-tat-tat these days? Just one after another. I haven't even been able to keep up at all. Kind of sounds like Sedna. I bet Sedna's way huger than they even have let on. What do you think about that, Mike Brown? You seem like the only cool astronomer who has the huevos to tweet me. Come on, Mike. Let me know. You're still my favorite astronomer. You found Sedna, bro. That is awesome. Does anybody else seem to remember? Nah, you're probably not as old as I am. When they were like, there's no life in, this, in the universe other than on Earth. And they were like, holy shit, there's like 8 billion habitable planets in the Milky Way galaxy. Man, professional science sure can change on down. And over at Fox News, where they are always fair and balanced about supporting Republicans, which is different from me. I'm always fair and balanced about talking about how both parties are totally, completely, absolutely corrupt. Anyway, they say at their science thingy, alien planet 11 times bigger than Jupiter spied. Why'd you guys say spied, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, this article is by Denise Chow. Wow, Denise, you sound hot. Alien planet, 11 times bigger than Jupiter, found in bizarre massive orbit, a single planet star. The most commonly accepted theories of planet formation, it is thought that planets that orbit close to their parent stars, such as Earth, began as small asteroid-type bodies that clumped together in their primordial disk of gas and dust around the burgeoning star. Yet this process operates too slow to explain how giant plants form far from their star. You know what I guess? Professional science would never get grant money or government money if they always were like, man, we don't know. We got no idea. The universe is this big, crazy, magical place. And uh, so we don't know what the hell is going on. Whoa, so at the HuffPo, we got robot hand jobs. And at Fox, of course, we have Viagra. Why does celestial physics always have sexual undertones? And I always end up having desperate overtones. I can't be that desperate because my standards are still through the roof, people. Alternative hypotheses have suggested that distant giant planets may form in ways similar to many binary star systems. Hot, Vanessa Bailey said. A binary star system can be formed when two adjacent clumps of gas collapse more or less independently to form stars. And these stars are close enough to each other to exert a mutual gravitation attraction and bind them together in an orbit. Well, baby, we could get together and talk about that, maybe. Our mutual gravitation attraction will bind us together in an orbit for a night or two. But hey, the star and planet may have collapsed independently. Well, then it must not be from Earth, because it's always somebody else's fault. And what the hell is with everybody saying it's 13 million years old? You guys just don't know. It's got a mass ratio of 100 to 1. This extreme mass ratio is not predicted from binary star formation theories. Just like planet formation theory predicts that we cannot foreign planet so far from the host star. The planet was found using a thermal infrared camera mounted on the Magellan Telescope in the Atacama Desert in Chile. Oh. The researchers used the Hubble to confirm their discovery. Discoveries like HD Binary 69-06b provide us with deeper understanding of the diversity of other planetary systems. Yeah, the universe, it's a mighty diverse place. Is it just me or has nobody mentioned where the hell this thing is? How come they aren't mentioning where it's at? Weird. Our universe today says this exoplanet is turning planetary formation scenarios upside down. You turn me. And this is written by Elizabeth Howell. She sounds hot too. I, she sounds like a hot Jupiter. What the heck is a giant exoplanet doing so far away from its star? It's too big and too far out there. Hey, that sounds like how people describe me. 11 times the size of Jupiter. Well, it's definitely not Herculubus or Nibiru because they're only supposed to be six times the size of Jupiter. At 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, the planet is most easily visible in infrared. The heat is from when the planet was first coalescing. Yeah, isn't it interesting how all the really cool stuff can only be seen in infrared? Makes me think about all those. Well, if Planet X was really on the way, you'd be able to see it with the clear eye. A million, a million amateur astronomers and Boy Scouts with $5 telescopes will be able to see it. Well, maybe not. People are discussing the rogue planet theory. But I can't discuss that too much. Because I have to 
rejoin World of Warcraft to make that video. Trust me, it'll be cool. All right, this one was fun, quick, and easy. God bless. I'm gonna get back to Kevin Ison, WTF, NASA, part 50. It should be nifty. And hello, ladies. It is icy outside. We should be drinking some hot cocoa by the fire and run outside dancing in the snow till we get a deep, deep chill in our bones and then run back in the house, warm up, keep doing it all over again till we die. Wait, or just fall asleep. God bless everybody. I must confess, while doing my research for the story, one of the people who helped find planet Binary 69, Ot 6B, was Tiffany Meshcat. She has captured my heart and is beautiful like a shining star. She's definitely the most beautiful astronomer in the world. If I don't cuddle soon, I'm gonna die!